Great to have you to help us digest everything that happened. Chloe, you have new reporting. Yes. Okay. Well, so you mentioned the fact that about a dozen Academy members, now there's over 9,000 of them, but celebrities, actors, directors getting together to just process this and that they were very divided in this heated Zoom meeting this morning because they felt like some people were upset that the Academy just released one statement, uh, just a sentence saying that they don't condone violence and that that wasn't enough, um, while others felt like, hey, you know, this is going to blow over. Over, just let's let it lie. Um, but I can tell you, though, that a source close to the situation tells CNN just moments ago that last night the Academy that they considered removing Will Smith from the broadcast. That's huge news to know that. What does that even mean? That means that they broadcast. actually thought about approaching Will Smith and having him leave the premises because the Academy has bylaws against violence. And if you are an Academy member, which we don't know if Will Smith is, you know, you sign and you agree to those bylaws. Um, and they are very strict. And those bylaws went into effect uh, once the Me Too movement started, after Harvey Weinstein was accused um, of assaulting women. Um, and they also said, though, that the leadership of the Academy, they were seated in different spots in that massive Dolby Theater, and that they weren't able to mobilize in time and get everybody together this is an unprecedented moment you know and for them to get together and discuss and all agree about what to do you might say well they had you know 45 minutes but it's not as easy as it looks and again sort of no precedent for this a lot of questions about security too even though it's Will Smith even though he's an A-list actor and up for an award you know should there be security there you know those are questions that you're seeing so um, you know it'll be interesting to see if the Academy responds further Samara, you, your position, I think, is, or you tweeted out that the person most hurt by Will Smith's slap is Will Smith. Yeah. How so? Yeah, you know, Will Smith overshadowed what should have been a real highlight of his career that has been decades in the making. The headlines this morning should have been about his amazing journey from a teen rapper from Philadelphia to an Academy Award winner, and by the way, one of the few African-American men ever presented with that honor. And instead, they're about him slapping Chris Rock. And ironically, Chris Rock comes out looking good in this whole scenario, even though he is the one who made that tasteless, really cruel joke joke about Jada Pinkett Smith. Was it cruel? I want to ask you about that because, I mean, to my ears, G.I. Jane is a badass, okay? Yeah. And he said, and I think he said, like, I love you, Jada. Like, he was clearly trying to couch it. Yeah. And now we know that she uh, doesn't have hair because of alopecia, a medical condition. So, but to your ears, was that cruel? Well, there's some context here that's really important. So absent the context, no. It sounds like actually, as far as Chris Rock is concerned, a very benign joke. But the context here is twofold. For one, they have history. Chris Chris Rock has mocked the Smiths at the Oscars before. In 2016, they were not present at the time, and so there has been reportedly some bad blood since then. And the other piece of context is that Jada Pinkett has been very public about her battle with alopecia that caused this hair loss. And as women, I think we can all understand how painful it would be to suffer extreme hair loss in that way. So that is the context, and that is the key to what Will Smith was reacting to. You know, a lot of the debate that we're hearing today is about people saying, well, it was under Understandable. Now, it was unacceptable, no question about that, but there are a lot of people who are saying he was coming to her defense in a very painful moment. Um, Chloe, Chris Rock deserves an award for being <laughs> unflappable and having a show must go on, professionalism. And having such a good line after that on his feet, right, to say All that this it. is, you know, uh, great live television. It was great live television. I mean, whatever, great live television. It was a live moment, and he, I can't imagine anybody ever responding better. Has he responded to no. this? No, we haven't heard anything, and you saw uh, Diddy get up on stage saying, we're going to resolve this like family. I'm going to get you two together. Unclear if they've spoken to each other, um, if, they're, if they've settled any bad blood. Also, like, how much deeper does this bad blood run? Is it more than just the quips at the Oscars in 2016, or is there more behind the scenes that we don't know about? Is Will Smith or Chris Rock going to come out and give us more context of this? Um, but no, we're, we're trying to reach Chris Rock's representatives for comment. We've had radio silence. But again, everybody is, you know, coming to Will Smith to see if he's okay. You saw Denzel Washington. You saw right. Tyler Perry, uh, you know, kind what of comforting Rock? him. What about my face still hurts from yeah. just imagining what that yeah. slap was like. Yeah. Um, Chloe, thank you for the breaking news. Mara, thank you very much for all thank that you. context. Great thank to you. talk to both of you.